Hi, you're on the This Is Crime channel. I'm Matilda. Listen to my new story. A Nightmare in Guy. How a criminal killer stabbed three students from Bashkiria after his release. The Night of the Murder. On September 30th, 2021, residents of one of Guy's houses felt the acrid smell of smoke and called firefighters. The apartment on the ground floor was on fire. After extinguishing the fire, rescuers found the bodies of two girls in the apartment where the fire was burning. The body of the third was found on the street near the house. The dead were medical college students who came to study from Bashkiria and rented an apartment here. The security forces found traces of stab wounds on their bodies. In the morning, police and investigators were working near the house. According to investigators, on the night of September 29th, 30, at about 21.30, the killer entered the apartment through a window. He saw girls he didn't know. The perpetrator waited until the students fell asleep, and four hours later, he again entered the apartment with a knife. The security forces suggest that the man raped the girls and then stabbed them in the neck and chest. To cover his tracks, the killer set fire to the apartment. At this time, one of the students tried to run outside, but the man caught up with her and finished her off. The killer's DNA was found in the apartment. On October 3rd, an orientation was sent out to him. Officials promised a reward to anyone who would help find him. Dennis Passler, the governor of the Orenburg region, promised to pay a million rubles for information about him. The killer was able to hide for a short time. On the eve of his capture, he stole a car in Orsk, the owners of which got on his tail and called the police. Lazarev couldn't get away from the traffic police patrolmen who were chasing him. At that time, many people were worried about the question, is he sane at all? As the prosecutor's office later established, yes, three friends. His victims were girls from the Kugurchinsky and Baymik districts of Bashkiria, 17-year-old Igiza Yu, 18-year-old Adil K, and 19-year-old Zulfia S. As their parents told them, they went to study in Orenburg region because there were budget places for them. They weren't party girls. The girls planned to become nurses. At college, we were told that they studied well and always attended classes. They studied in the third year in an exemplary group, a budget one. They were quiet and good, their classmate recalled. According to the mother of one of the victims, shortly before the tragedy, the girls were going to come home. Adelia lived in the village of Twimitovo. Her father worked in Novi Urengoy, but after learning the tragic news, he gave up everything and returned to Bashkiria. The girl's mother did not have the moral strength to meet the body. Uncle Adelie did it. Igiza wanted to go to university after graduating from college. Her father believes that for such crimes, it is necessary to toughen the punishment. It is necessary to find him, the perpetrator, and return the death penalty. What else can I do with this? The girls were buried in their small homeland on October 3rd. As Alexander's friends told him, he grew up without a father. His grandmother and mother raised him. Friends say that as a child, he was like all the boys, without any peculiarities. At the age of 20, Lazarev was imprisoned for murder. Then Ruslan, the manager, who was resolving conflicts in the institution, was killed in the Orange Bar. According to the staff of the institution, Ruslan went outside, where a visitor called him, although there were no conflicts that evening. Near the bar, the manager was stabbed in the neck and died. Alexander Lazarev took the blame for the crime. However, some bar staff do not believe that he is to blame. Ruslan was a boxer, so his colleagues and friends did not allow the thought that Lazarev could so easily stab him with a knife. This could be done by a strong man with a stuffed hand, that is, who knows how to use a knife well, and Lazarev is a flimsy guy, she said, UFA1. Are you the former accountant of the institution? Lazarev was released in the summer of 2021. While serving his sentence, he married a woman from the city of Guy, where he settled after being released. The couple had a daughter.
Friends told me that Lazarev settled down, behaved calmly, worked at a car wash. The family lived on the same Molodizhnaya Street, where a student from Bashkiria rented an apartment. On that tragic night, neighbors saw him coming home from work. He looked calm, and it didn't look like he was going to do something terrible. He was coming home from work. He was tired. He said he was going to have a beer and go home to sleep, his neighbor told us. During the investigative experiment, Alexander confessed and said that everything happened quickly. He denied only rape. On October 5, 2021, he was arrested on charges of arson, murder, and car theft. If you like this story, subscribe to the channel and put a thumbs up. Look forward to more stories from the team of our channel. This is Criminal.